name is Myra Lewin, and today we're going to make Ayurvedic Cinnamon Rose Pancakes. So let's get started. We're using whole wheat and rice flour that was just freshly ground from wheat berries and from the brown rice. Grinding your own grain is actually a very easy thing to do. You can get a hand grinder and it just grind small amounts of it and the flour is fresh and it has a lot more life force in it than when you buy flour that's been sitting in a bag or sitting in a bin in the store. If you do go to buy it in the store, buy something that's in a, a package that's not uh, exposed to the light and it, it is likely to be a lot more tasty. So not only is it more tasty, but it's much more, much higher nutritional value. Put the flour in, we'll be adding some salt and some ghee and some spices, cinnamon, cumin, coriander, and a little pinch of ginger. The rose petals, sorry. <laughs> We have organic rose petals from the roses that we grow right outside and we just take them and dry them. You don't want to use rose petals from plants that have been given chemicals though. So some of you might not have those available until the summertime, but be sure if you do get, have grow roses that you keep your rose petals, dry them out, and you can use them in your cooking. I'm just adding the flour there and next we'll put in all the dry ingredients first. cumin, coriander, we're using powder because that will work e more easily than using seeds. Sometimes you know you might use seeds by cooking them with some ghee in, in advance and then cooking the pancakes in that and that would be another way to have the, the, uh, the effect of the spices. A little bit of ginger. So, you could use a little fresh ginger also. We're using ginger powder today because it's a cool day here. The ginger powder is a little bit more warming than fresh ginger. And then we have sweet cinnamon. With a little bit of salt. Now, you might be making a smaller quantity than this. Today we're making a fairly large quantity. We have quite a few people. And then we'll Go ahead and mix those ingredients. You could also use your hand to mix the ingredients rather than using a utensil. The ghee is liquid in, when the temperature is in the mid-70s or higher, mid-70s Fahrenheit, and it's solid when the temperature is lower than that, so you might have to put the utensil in rather than just pouring it out. Okay, just a little more because we have a large amount of flour here. And then stir this up a little bit and then we'll add our liquid. Now I'm going to be using water. You could use some herbal tea and you could also use buttermilk as another option. We have some fresh buttermilk here that is made from a culture that we keep going. are grounding because of the wheat and the rice that's in them. The whole grains and the flour that comes from the whole grains, are, they're heavy, which helps with grounding, um, and they're, they have the sweet taste primarily, which makes them calming for vata dosha. The reason I would recommend pancakes like this is, as compared to things that you might buy in a package or commercial pancakes is because they typically will have baking powder in them or baking soda, which is not ideal. And typically they also will have some kind of sugar or sweetener. Now we could put some maple syrup in here, but this, this particular pancakes on this day, we're not going to do that. We could add some afterwards. We could also add honey. And then we're going to be adding a sauce with tahini as well. So here we are. We have our rose petals that we can add in. And we have the batter. And this is a fairly, a moderately thick batter, I would say. 
and you can play with it for yourself in terms of the amount of liquid. But uh, something that looks like something that looks like this is a pretty good idea. And I like to use a um, a ladle when I'm making them. So we're going to go over to the stove and do that now. Okay, we're just heating up a little bit of ghee in the pan and getting ready to start making our pancakes. So you want to be able to feel the warmth coming off of the pan before you put the pancake, before you put the batter in. So it's ready. Now this batter is fairly thick, I see. So one of the things that I'll do with it right now is just spread it out a little bit more. Now, my pancakes are not going to be perfectly round. But they taste really good. The nice things about these kinds of pancakes is that they can be used as, as a, a snack for children. You know, we don't, in Ayurveda, we don't encourage snacking. But if there's a time where meals are too far apart, then this would be a good idea. So then we're just going to let it continue to cook and simmer until it starts having some bubbles, and then we'll turn it over. And I'll need to get a spatula to do that with. Sorry. Sometimes they come out a little funny looking in the first batch. So let them cook until they're bubbling on the other side and then turn them over. So they actually will have cooked probably three quarters of the way through before you turn them. I'm going to let them sit just another second and then put just another bit of ghee in. Now it's nice if you can get a small container of ghee, something like this one. And that way you can just have a small spoon put small amounts of ghee in at a time. That's easier to work with. It's really important that you have a positive attitude while you're cooking because whatever energy you have going on is going to go into the food. So you want to make sure that you can Find the love in your heart and let that flow into your cooking experience. And then the people who eat the food will have a healing experience. Not just, oh, satisfying my hunger and yes, getting nourishment, but that there's true healing that goes on on a cellular level. So here's the finished product. This is um, pancakes with rose petals on top, some maple syrup, and a few of the crumbs right here. And then we also have the pancakes being served with a little tahini sauce. Here it is. It's a simple recipe. Enjoy it.